In the Western United States especially, the single largest user of water is agriculture. When we have water shortages, agriculture is oftentimes one of the first to lose their ability to irrigate. My research is focused on the safe reuse of wastewater for irrigation and groundwater recharge. The use of wastewater for irrigation is a really important tool for farmers to have because that allows them to have a secure water supply. In central Arizona, we reuse up to 90% of our wastewater. My research mostly focuses upon the fate and transport of trace organics that are found in the wastewater. Things like pharmaceuticals, hormones, personal care products in the water. To this point, those concentrations are very, very low and we haven't had any real issues with them being found in the food crops. I have five different sewage treatment plants throughout the country where right now we're simply looking at what the concentration of about 120 pharmaceuticals are in the wastewater to then get an idea of what are the potential compounds that might be a problem. Once we have that, then we'll start looking at are there ways we can better treat those compounds or sewage treatment plants to remove them. But the concentrations we're dealing with on these compounds are very, very low on the order of like, like one part per billion. So wastewater is a, a great resource, but we want to get as much out of every drop of water as we can. To feed more people on the same amount of resources, we need to be in a situation where we can transport that water when it's needed that will allow us to use, produce the same amount of food or even more food on the same amount of ground. With USDA, ARS, it's very important that we have that continuity of research and find those answers.